Hello fellow skating fans and friends. I am here with my good friend Naomi and we are filming a recap for the 2020 Canadian National Figure Skating Championships which I was so lucky to attend live in person and we had such an amazing weekend. That was wow. <laughs> amazing amazingly wild a lot of emotions but we're here to dissect all of it there's a second video on my channel that's going to be a vlog it's going to be going up around the same time but this we're going to talk about the skating and let's recap by the disciplines that were completed first which was ice dance piper and paul gold medalists for the first time at the Finally. Canadian National Championships. They're continuing on their golden season, winning their first Grand Prix medal and qualifying for the Grand, Grand Prix, Prix final. Gold medal. Grand Prix gold medal. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And qualifying for the final for the first time in a long while. So icing on the cake for their season. Yeah, so they were named to the world team, obviously. They had to be. Along with um, Marjo and Zach. And then the third spot is... TBD. Yes. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about their performances. So the short, the rhythm dance, excuse me. <laughs> wow, that started off so unexpectedly. I remember being in the stands thinking, wow, that's new choreography, <laughs> but why is it that? And as you all know by now, it's the infamous hair caught situation where Piper's hair was caught on a His Paul's button. costume. His yes. button. So my face was... It was. <laughs> what is going on? Because we were shocked. Yeah, I couldn't believe that happened. But guess what? They did not let them that hold them back. They continued yeah. skating the program perfectly clean. It was probably their best skate of the season, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. um, it was beautiful, but um, their free dance was spectacular. I don't think they've ever skated it that well. Yeah. And it was... Like, I had chills. I probably would have cried, but I don't know why. I was so shocked that tears didn't come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. The uh, the song by Joni Mitchell, Both Sides Now, sounded so good through the arena speakers. It was a full-on moment, and one of the few standing o ovations given uh, to the athletes all weekends. Canadians are really reserved with their standings. Except for us. <laughs> Poor her, because I'm American. <laughs> we were the loud ones in the we audience. We were the loud ones, yes. So, but Piper and Paul, I think spot on, they were just as good as I expected them to be. They seized the moment. Every element looked good. Everything was smooth. I don't want to keep repeating myself of what I've said in the past. They're great. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Marjorie and Zach? Oh my God. They're so good. Um... Big fans. We were rooting, for, well, I was rooting for them. No, they were the, good. The whole weekend, uh, their rhythm dance was great. Their free dance, uh, really good. There was a couple of little footing errors that I saw. Um, he wasn't so impressed. I like them. Um, I, I would like to see better programs. He wasn't so impressed. Everybody loves their mm -hmm. Bohemian Rhapsody mm -hmm. um, program, but I... I don't know if the audience was so impressed, but I was impressed. A lot of people were impressed. Michelle Long was impressed. Yes, Michelle Long. <laughs> I, I loved it. I think they have really good energy. Everyone kept saying that they are reminiscent of a very young Tessa and Scott. Yes. Which I actually saw. Really good skating skills. They have the core basics required to really have a continued longevity in the sport. It just... I takes time to grow. And you can tell they really like their free dance when they perform it. Um, we kind of saw, like, from our view of it, you could kind of see it from the back. Mm -hmm. um, so you couldn't really see their facial expressions as much. But you can tell from the different angles that they love it. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it from different views. Yes, I have. Yeah, And I'd say uh, they perform their programs, definitely not my personal favorite, but the best that I've seen them all season long. So they really wanted to earn their spot on the world team. Which, which they did. They rightfully did. So that's amazing. And then who are the teams? Caroline are teams? and Shane. Yes, Caroline and Shane, who won the bronze medal. Their free dance started off with well, a mistake. Yes, he fell um, coming out of a twizzle. Yeah. Um... But the the rest of the program was great. Um, a little bit of an error there, but they came back fighting. Yeah. It, it was a fight. They're both fighting. 
them and Marjo and Zach were both fighting for uh, a world spot. Yeah. And and that world spot, um, it's uncertain because Lolo and Nick, which Fine. stands for Nick Sorensen and Laurence Fournier. Fournier. I don't know how to say <laughs> I can't say your last name. We're so bad. Uh, but we believe that they have a chance at receiving a bye to Nationals to be on the world team because of their, uh, what do you call it? Um, injury. Yeah, because of Next, their injury and body of work, they have a much higher potential to do well at Worlds. But it's all because um, we have to see how recovery goes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It takes time. But one thing about Shane and Caroline, because I noticed Caroline, sorry, <laughs> they are very reminiscent of Marie France, and I pointed that out. Mm -hmm. And apparently I'm not the only one who thinks that. She's, you know, very mature looking for being so young on the ice. It's, it was really cute to see. Shout out to um, uh, Molly, Molly Lanigan and mm -hmm. Dimitri Raz. Don't know how to say his last name. <laughs> oh, don't ask. They me. did yeah. really well, and also Haley Sales and Nicholas Wamsteeker. We were really rooting for them. We, I really like them, and um, our friend Kathleen also really likes them. Yeah. Um, I was really rooting for Haley and Nick to get a bronze here, but they had an unfortunate fall in the rhythm, the rhythm dance. dance. I do so. remember their free dance vividly, mm -hmm. and that was exciting to watch. Yes. Big energy. Yes. Lots so. of expression. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Dance was great. Yes, dance was dance, dance was, was solid. Now we're going to move on to ladies. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so before we talk about each individual skater, here is... <laughs> an overview of what happened with the ladies. It seemed like the veterans showed up, the seasoned athletes were coming into the Canadian Nationals hoping to regain their title or win a medal and subsequently a spot on the world team. Or the national team. <laughs> or the national team next year, but that did not happen. The seasoned veterans made so many costly and unexpected errors that they dropped in the standings dramatically and then we had a new crop of young Canadian ladies who had nothing to lose and skated their hearts out for the most part and ended up on the podium. The people we all know and love felt the pressure. Yes, we know who they are. Gabrielle Delman, Veronique, and Alicia. Wow. And then poor Aurora, as we all know, had to withdraw because of injury. Yeah, I don't know if we all saw program, her post on Instagram, but a new injury. Hmm. Unfortunate. She's had a rough few senior seasons. Such bad luck she's had so far as a senior skater. But we wish her the best. We wish her the best. But let's recap. Our new Canadian national champion is Emily Bosbeck. She skated great. She wow. did have a great... Skate. It was to Celine Dion's Titanic yes. song. Yes, and even her short program mm -hmm. was really great as well. Yeah, she was fourth after the short. Yes. We were all very impressed. Really solid she jumps. She skated in the second last group. In the last group. In the last group in the short. Oh, in the short. In the yeah, short. maybe second to last. In the short, she skated, I believe, in the second last group. So her score was good enough mm -hmm. to land her in, in the, the final group. For the last group. Yeah. Or, yeah. So. Free, so. Yay, it was not perfect. She still had a pop, but everyone easily forgot about that <laughs> because it was in the middle of the program and she just kept taking She forgot all those about jumps. that one pop jump and yeah. kept on going. She was exciting, exuberant. I wish her the best. The emotion was great. Mm -hmm. And we had two Celine programs back to back. So. <laughs> different, different results, full of emotions for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of highs and Lots of blows. <laughs> yes, so I am really excited for Emily. She will be sent to four continents, and hopefully she can uh, get the tech minimums for the World Figure Skating Championships if she doesn't already have them. I'm seeing conflicting things on Twitter. We've decided that's not our problem to figure <laughs> out. It's Skate Canada's. Um, seems like the conflicting thing on whether or not someone can attain those minimums at a junior ISU competition versus senior. Uh, 
I hope she does well at Four Continents. The key will be skating a clean short program, so you can meet the minimums and also qualify for the free programs at Four Continents as well. So good luck to Emily and also to Allison Schumacher. Yes. Not a new name to me. I've been no. following her for a while. Um, has been struggling with consistency issues for the past two seasons Maybe at least. Maybe this will give her a little bit of a confidence boost. Yes. I wasn't expecting her to land all of her jumps cleanly. Mm -hmm. I remember in the stands being like, okay, when is the fall going to happen? Oh, okay, this is the longest she's been without a fall, and she just landed most of her jumps. So hopefully this will help her get going for next season, mm -hmm. because she's had a few rough seasons, mm -hmm. and she was doing really well a few seasons ago. As a junior. Yes, so... Mm -hmm. But she's got good jump technique. Like, there's nothing jarring about the way mm -hmm. she jumps. She just needs to stick out those landings. And she's got good skating skills. Yes. So once... Well, it's all coming together. Mm hmm So maybe it has come together. Yeah. She also looks really beautiful. Remember, we kept saying during the warm-up, but who's that tall girl that's yeah. very statuesque? Uh, maybe the other Canadian ladies were just really short, but she stood out <laughs> because yes. of her, her figure. And so it'd be great for her to gain consistently gain consistency, get more exposure internationally, and then I think she's got a bright future ahead of her. So good luck at Four Continents. Wow. And then, Matt, your favorite. Uh, I, I'm just excited I called this. If you want to go to my <laughs> preview video, I called that Madeline Shissa's was going to be a dark horse for the podium. And everybody, including Nolan, who did the preview, was like, who? What? But I, she is spunky. you got to admit that. She is. Mm -hmm. She is. She was great. Second after the short program. Which was interesting, but good for mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Without a triple-triple. Underdog. Yes. She said that she was going for the triple-triple. Her toe, her toe pick just went in funny, so good for her for hanging on to a, mm -hmm. at least making it a triple-double. Yeah. The free skate was <laughs> not perfect. She was even shocked herself. <laughs> That she made some mistakes, and I think she Four was Four single upset. axles. <laughs> yes, what was that? It's she, okay. She, can do double axles. she just needs some, um, she just needs a little more experience. Yeah, but you know what's there, though, is um, the attack. Yes. Even though she pops some of the jumps, you can tell she attacks all of her elements. She's got spunk, and all of the top three ladies, I say, uh, have amazing speed. Maybe yes. Emily has the most. <laughs> yes, they have the fight. Yes. Then they weren't scared to go for the jumps because no. it looked like some of the more experienced ladies were scared and Very they, were, hesitant. they were holding back, mm -hmm. whereas the younger girls were just going for it. They didn't care Yeah. because they had nothing to lose. That's right. So Madeline, she says, is not being sent to Four Continents because apparently she doesn't have the technical minimums for that competition. So I hope her season is not over. Maybe Skate Canada can send her to the Bavarian Open so she can get some experience and meet some tech minimums. Or at the very least, you know, be she, she's on the national team, so maybe Autumn Classic next season, U.S. Mm -hmm. International Classic. Hopefully Autumn Classic is back in Oakville. Oh, you would love that. We'll see her again. <laughs> I was actually telling um, Naomi and our other friend that it's possible that Skate Canada can send the podium for the ladies to Skate Canada International because a lot of times they struggle with the two spots for the ladies on who to send. Not that there aren't any options, it's just that there's not any clear options, but now you know, send the top three from Nationals. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. And a lot of the time, all those ladies, like the... For international, they're all injured. The mm -hmm. ladies they can send. Can we talk about Michelle Long? Yes. Ooh, wait, wait really quickly. I had a thought. Did it go away? Um, oh, the ages of all of the oh, yes. ladies, girls, ladies 17, on the podium. 17. They are in their late teens. I know some people were thinking 13, 14. They look really young. A lot of, a lot of their ages are 17 I and think 18. 17, 17, 18. Or, yeah. yeah. So they're very much ladies and can compete on the international level, but they've just now been rewarded with the podium <laughs> and they did the hard work by qualifying via regionals and Skate Canada Challenge, which in the U.S. is similar mm -hmm. to sectionals. So. so, and yeah, our TBD spots, so they can also go to Junior Worlds and That's Senior right. Worlds, and Skate Canada has a lot of deciding to do. <laughs> yes, they do. It's not over. So Alicia was in fourth place, and that is quite a disappointing result. 
Going Cons from first. Considering <laughs> that she was leading after the short program. I have a confession to make. I did not expect her to skate a clean long program. Just I, I haven't seen her skate one before, so I, I didn't expect to see it for the first time at Nationals. I was really rooting for it to go well because she did such a good short program. Yeah. You could tell she was thinking about it, though. Going into a free skate as number one must be so daunting. Yeah, and I'm not sure she expected that. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's someone who attacks her jumps, um, has relatively good consistency on them. Sometimes she gets under rotation calls. I was surprised to see her make as many mistakes as she did. It just started getting to her head. Yeah, but... Uh, Lovely short program. That's mm -hmm. one she's got to keep in her memory for good thoughts. She's a beautiful skater. Yeah. And then we have Michelle Long. Shout out to Michelle Long. We love her. We're Team practically Michelle, friends with her <laughs> now. So she's been in this position before. Uh, not so great short program, but she's really a long program skater. That always shows. She skates too early, but she did a relatively clean Long program, not perfect, but pretty good for her. And her first place held up throughout <laughs> a few more groups of the ladies. I would love a clean short and a clean long. Yeah. But that's skating. <laughs> yeah. And Michelle is someone who just has yes. a great personality. We were yes. chatting with her all throughout this weekend. Yes. And her personality comes out on the ice and it's just beautiful to watch. Yeah. Brings us to tears. <laughs> Practically. Her Ooh. friends were in tears. <laughs> her friends were so cute. Uh, her, her skating is very mature, and mm -hmm. it sounds like she's not planning on retiring anytime soon. So, you know, clean short program next year in Vancouver, Michelle Long at 2020 Nationals. The 2021 National 2021 Nationals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was almost on the podium, remember? Yes, we, were, <laughs> was, wait, like, we were hoping. Michelle Long win a bronze medal? What? <laughs> it was so close. <laughs> so close, but uh, she does add something to the mix at Canadian Nationals. I know some people are giving me the critique of like, oh, you know, with her age being so much more mature and older than the other ladies, what's the point? Well, people don't always skate for the results. Everyone has their own personal mm -hmm. reasons, and I think there's a place for her as in Canada, especially nationally speaking. So, She's wonderful to watch. Right. Let's see, who was in sixth place? All right, so now it's tough. Places 7th and 8th. We have familiar names. So, Veronica was hard to watch because she's a favorite. She did make a coaching change two months ago. Yes. So, we all know with coaching changes, it takes time. So, she's now training in Oakville with Bruno. Bruno. I'm wondering, has he already started tweaking her jumps? I think so. Because they do look better. Mm -hmm. And her double axle looks great. She's always had a good I know, double axle. I know. But it, <laughs> so it still looks great. I'm yeah. glad they didn't try and change her programs or anything. Yeah. So. You could tell in the short program mm -hmm. she was going for the triple triple. And that's why she was mm -hmm. hesitant on that first jump and couldn't pull off the combination. And I'm sure she was nervous being at a competition with a new coach. and. Yeah. She's very friendly and gorgeous. We met her. She said she's working on her English. <laughs> <laughs> her English has always been really yeah. good to me, so that's surprising. Um, beautiful skater, but because of the <coughs> coaching change, I expect her to be around next season, mm -hmm. right? My girl, Gabrielle Daleman, thank you everyone for sending me your good thoughts and virtual hugs. Much appreciated. I think Kathleen and I cried the stand. Um, <laughs> I was... There for the encouragement. It was it was heartbreaking to watch. It was not good. The total opposite of what she's capable of doing. Obviously, the struggles that she has have, has been piling up, and there, the timing is not perfect. There what were good moments throughout mm -hmm. the programs. In between the jumps, though. Yes. Yeah. She didn't just give up. You know, she kept going for everything, which I can appreciate, because if it was me, I would not want to finish the second stopped. half. She could have stopped. Yeah. It must have taken a lot. Yeah. Because she could have stopped, but mm -hmm. she didn't. Yeah. Um, 
how her career continues. That'll be a discussion between her, her team, and even the Federation. Um, if you ask me for my honest opinion, I think there's a new crop of Canadian skating skaters. They will need some opportunity and maybe have Gabby work her way back up slowly to the competitive level. Um, we could look at someone like Gracie Cole and how she's returning to the sport. She'll be competing at the U.S. Nationals next week by um, qualifying from regionals and sectionals. That wouldn't be the worst idea for Gabby to do as well. If she chooses to take a season off, that's okay too. I will always have her, she will always have my support because you all saw my sash this weekend. <laughs> yes. Um, also, somebody came up to Justin this weekend and told Justin that they were Gabby's number one fan. Yes, so I wore the sash for most of the weekend, and then um, I took it off for the second half of the last day of the senior events, and a guy came up to me and said, hey, you're actually not Gabby Dalman's number one fan. It's me. I was like, excuse me? How do you know about that? He's like, I saw your sash earlier, and um, it's me, not you. <laughs> okay, let's just say I had to ask for details, and I think I'm officially her number one fan, and not that guy. <laughs> Next discipline, shall wait, we? Wait, 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 oh, wait, yeah. wait. Another one? We just have to shout out to Amelia Orzel. Okay. She yeah. did Conrad's sister. really well in her free skate, and... Really good. I cannot wait to see more next season. Just yeah, wanted to say that. Wait, that's not Conrad's sister, yes. right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. She was actually really good. Yeah. Yes. Also, really shout good. out to the the twin. Oh, yes. Yeah. Kim. Mm -hmm. Not the best free skate. Short program. Loved it. Beautiful skater. Beautiful skater. Yes. Kim Daisel? Daisel? Don't know yeah. how to Decals? say her last name. Yes. I'm okay. sorry. It's French. <laughs> French Canadian. <laughs> Kim. Love, you're skating. <laughs> you're beautiful, Kim. Now, let's see, men's was next. Oh, men's. I was rooting for Nam. A lot of other people were rooting for Keegan. But instead, we have a newcomer. Roman! Roman hey. Sadovsky, my friend Nolan's favorite skater. And he Nolan actually wanted Roman to win. And I told him that wasn't possible, so I lose. My friend Nolan wins. That's great. Uh, rightfully so, the champion. Yes, he did well. And this was actually his first time on the Canadian podium. Since novice? Yeah. Since novice. So, wow. He's worked hard as a senior. This season has been great to him. Obviously, coming off of a high from winning the bronze medal at NHK, he skated better at nationals than at NHK because that wasn't yeah, perfect. Yeah, no, yeah. Two quad sal cows, spins, and you were even His telling me his spinning position is yeah. wow to die for. I'm pretty sure a lot of the female skaters probably wish they could <laughs> spin like Roman because he can spin. Yeah. He can spin. He's been, I'd say he's been one of the better spinners for Canadian <laughs> men for two seasons at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while he was skating, you actually whispered to me saying that he has amazing skating skills, better mm -hmm. than Joseph Fan, who was, had skated earlier, who I was impressed with. Mm -hmm. and yeah, rightfully so. Um, no pressure coming into the competition, whereas Nam and Keegan might have been skating with the one world spot and looming over Keegan their head. And Keegan did mention in interviews he felt the pressure all week of that one world spot. Nam said he didn't really feel that pressure, but I'm sure that's a lot. That's right. Let's move on to Nam. You know <laughs> what? He's had such a great season. This has got to be the least impressive he's ever skated from what I've seen, at least this season. Season, yes. This season for Where sure. Where was the energy during that free program? Like, that was supposed to be playful with the audience. He tried to do what he could. It just looked like his, the energy wiped out of him. His step sequence was, oh, so slow. Yeah, shallow edges and slow. Oof. The quad was not working for him. Or, excuse me, the opening quad, triple, he fell on the triple, then fell on the second quad attempt. Uh, probably was thinking about it too much, and then the fall probably wiped him out that he was slow for the rest of the programs. He tried to bring it back at the end. He, he tried. Did. You know, um, I... The audience didn't help him out, though. Yeah. <laughs> didn't help. Some of us thought that he was going to place lower than Keegan, but I think, I think with tech... I think he might have, maybe should have. 
Should have really. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They both fell twice. Um, my thing was, I think it's the tech. I could look at the protocols on my phone, but I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think that it could have been a technical edge because he irked out a quadruple combination, whereas That's Keegan true. did not. Keegan oh. also. Then moving on to Keegan, also fell twice. One was really bad, and he. I thought head. he should have. From our, from where we were sitting, it looked like he hit his head real hard. I guess he didn't hit his head too hard mm -hmm. because he got up and continued skating but yeah i believe keegan also popped a jump yes yeah so that might have been that might have been it <laughs> yeah because you lose out on so many points whereas <laughs> i didn't see any pops from nam so yeah it, honestly they just both kind of both their programs just blended together for me <laughs> after those mistakes that i was just like Oh. What just happened? Their skating was clearly different from one another, though, because yes. I could say that Keegan was much faster, yes. much bigger. You know, actually, like, he's done a good job of taming his energy, because mm -hmm. when he was younger, my biggest critique would be that he was so, was so wild. wild. But no, it's very, like, tame and controlled. I don't know why, but this is what I keep thinking about. He had an amazing death drop. Yes, leading into like his bedroom. Remember, I asked you, I was like, that death drop, wow. <laughs> but then, you know, there's other things of his programs. Russian split, spins, you know, strong ending. He did um, a hydro blade. Oh. Um, that was really amazing. I don't know if this was a fact or if it's a rumor or if it's confirmed, but I've been hearing from a few people that this program is a... Um, is that a, a dedication, a tribute to his brother? Was this confirmed? I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I because... remember hearing it, probably even from Keegan's own voice. Okay, because, yeah, I don't ever actually remember reading mm -hmm. it in an interview or what, so... Mm -hmm. But I was very emotional, because there was a lot of, like, hand-holding things. Yeah. And... So, yeah, I was emotional. And if it was a clean skate, I definitely would have cried, so... Yeah, Keegan um, is someone who has not been Canadian national champion yet, uh, which is surprising <laughs> because some seasons he's actually the leading uh, international Canadian man. So maybe next season when there aren't any road bumps in his personal life, yes, he can really put it together in every competition. His short program, though. That was great. Ed Sheeran. I wouldn't be mad if he kept both of his programs for, for next, next season. season. Yes, I would love that. Mm -hmm. Tribute to his wife, because that was his wedding um, first dance. First dance song at his wedding, yeah. And then can we talk about the bromance between Nam Nguyen <laughs> and Keegan Messing? Always with the rock, paper, scissors. Oh, they did the rock, paper, scissors um, before the warm-up. That is the, so cute. And the short, um, you missed, you missed yes, out. I missed but, the short. Yeah, they did it before the short and the Oh, free. cool. I didn't know that. Um, On the awards ceremony... <laughs> They backflipped over, uh, Keegan backflipped over Nam. In Nam the laid of the down. Ice. Yeah. They tried to kick Roman, Keegan, and Nam off the ice for a very long time. Were, was not successful. Not happening. <laughs> not happening at all. The three of them were having too much fun out there. Yeah, it was so like funny and awkward because, what do you call it, the, metal, the, the people assisting with the medal ceremonies were walking out for the next round. Pairs were medals. just trying to get their medals. Yeah, and then... <laughs> Skaters, please get off the ice on intercom. And then Nam lays down, and then Keegan skates, and then Roman's still, like, skating with the flag, <laughs> taking pictures. It was hilarious. I'm not sure if there's a video of that somewhere, officially on YouTube. If there is, please try to watch it. But the bromance, the friendship is great. And also, Nam and Keegan were very supportive of Roman winning yes. his first medal. Like, you know, they're helping him out on the ice, encouraging him with the gold medal. That, they, that was really sweet. They um, gave him the giant flag. Uh, they were helping him along with it. Yeah. It was nice to see. Yeah, that was fun. Because and I don't think really anybody expected it. <laughs> you know, I didn't. But yeah, they're they're really welcoming to a uh, Roman. So that's great. Let's talk about Joseph Fan, one of my personal favorites. And I gotta say, this is my first time seeing him skate live. I'm glad it was one of his better performances in both programs. Mm -hmm. Fourth. There was quite a bit of a technical dip between third and fourth, but still great for right. Joseph. He went for two quad toes in the free mm -hmm. program, which I was like, what? And then was clean 
in the short program, I was floored. I was happy. Beautiful artistry. I know some people say that they think Roman has better skating skills, but they're still, both of them some are good. Some people say Naomi. <laughs> yeah, Naomi. Um, I think, I think Joseph has a better choreographed program. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Roman lacks a few transitions, but you know, at least he lands the jumps. Joseph, I feel, has more choreography to work with and um, is they're both lyrical skaters actually, but Joseph fan, I'm a fan of his. <laughs> <laughs> and also you should all check him out. He's being sent to Junior Worlds and I'm waiting for the moment where he can be a senior competitor. I'm praying it's next season. Well, may as well rack up all the the junior points. Yeah. Junior he can get, right? <laughs> Let's see. Do we remember um, who finished in fifth? Conrad? Oh, Nicholas oh, Nadeau. Um, oh, okay. He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> A fan favorite from the ladies. Yes. I will say his free skate was not disastrous. No. Far from perfect. High energy. Um, A lot of people like the, the song choice. Yes. <laughs> We're being very careful with our words. Um, I will say it looks like his stature and his posture is getting better. Oh, so much better. From when he first had the injury a few seasons yes, ago. So much so, better. You know, it was it was less jarring to watch him do basic skating movements in between the jumping so elements. Sick. I think is uh Yes. Conrad was after Nicholas. Okay. That was that was good. Yeah. Conrad, um, okay skate from him this weekend i think the short was not so great i think i expected more because a lot of people <laughs> uh were really hyping him the up to be the, dark the short horse. wasn't that great i missed the short <laughs> and the the free skate was a lot better okay yeah the free skate was a lot better so the orzels had a really good weekend well a go. decently good weekend just looking at the results, I'm wondering how upset people are because everyone kept coming to me saying they thought he was a dark horse for the podium. I was mm -hmm. like, uh, not based on his performances at the Grand this, Prix. Yes, this weekend was rough for him. Yeah, but he's a very technical skater. He has a lot of fans. I will say the only banners I saw in the arena were for Conrad. They were, yes, and they were funny. and They, they were, were clever and witty. I liked you can them. see them on my vlog. <laughs> and I think I saw those banners before. I've seen them. Oh, okay. So they oh, rotate to they competitions. Are, they, they are fan favorites or oh, okay. fan favorites. Um, can we just talk about how Bennett had the best costumes of the men's? If you thought so. I thought so. Okay. They His short and free shirts were very colorful and beautiful. Oh, I do remember that. I'm not sure I'm the fan, but they were colorful. You might not be a fan, but they Oh, wait, popped. it was, like, the sweater that was, like, off blue? Yeah. Okay, never mind. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> and even his short was, like, teal, I think, or, like, mm -hmm. it just really popped. Cool. And Who... Matthew Markell did a very Ooh. good free program. It was actually, it sounds like it was perfect mm -hmm. for him, and which he, was great. I'm pretty sure he might have cried. Oh, so his family was sitting... By me, you were... We were standing watching. But you were standing. <laughs> His family were... In, all of them were in tears yeah. behind me. Yeah, we were standing actually by a lot of the um, skaters. We're sitting in, I think, around section two or three. And okay. we were standing because we were um, getting a drink. And we heard his name and I was like, we need to watch him. Yeah. And everybody was cheering. And then I... And they zoomed in on his face and I was like, I think he's crying. So. His family was too, rightfully so. That is a Nationals moment. Yes. So Matthew was in ninth. I do want to talk about Eric Liu, who finished oh, in yes. seventh, because he did so well mm -hmm. at the Skate Canada Challenge. Me and Nolan, neither of us saw his performances, but we just looked at the protocols and said, wow, he looks like he did well. And I said, I don't know him, but we'll see if he impresses me at Nationals. He did. He is such a beautiful, lyrical skater. Amazing edges, mm -hmm. skating skills. Jumps were actually, like, on point. Great knee bend. I feel like a lot of these guys have really stepped up their skating skills. Yeah. Great knee bend going to the opening axle, I believe. Um, bad fall, which I think led to a bad injury, because remember all the jumps from then? Oh, yeah. Painful. He, and then he yeah. hopped off, off the, the ice. ice. 
went after he took the bow. Oh, and so poor Ravi. Ravi <laughs> Walia, the coach who has so many injured skaters this week at Nationals. But uh, Charles Liu? No, Eric Liu. Wow, I'm oh. going to keep an eye on him. Beautiful skater. Yeah, he landed like forward. It looked like his ankles really oh. hurt. Yeah, and he kept going. Yeah, I think he had two more jumps after that. Oh, so difficult. And a whole footwork sequence. <laughs> Yikes. Ouch. Ooh, yeah. that hurts me to think about. So that sounds like it's a wrap for men's. Now we're ending with pairs. Her two favorite teams <gasps> won the gold and silver. So let's take it one time, one team oh, at a time. Gosh. Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero. Oh, can we start from the bottom up? No. Uh, <laughs> won the gold medal for, you know, it's not their first time, so it's kind it's of their expected. their second time. Yeah? Yeah. Kudos to them. That Let's see, great. how are their programs? Short program, neither were perfect. I will say, high scores received. Mm -hmm. New Canadian record. Neither program was perfect. I think Kirsten made the mistakes this time. Both times. Both she programs. messed up on her jumping passes both times, which was interesting. I did not expect that. Because she's a great jumper. Um, she didn't expect it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... It's whatever. She's going to come back stronger. She'll be jumping a lot a lot this week. She'll be mad about that for a while, um, that she won't miss a side-by-side -side jump for the next three years. <laughs> Four continents, her jumps are going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're wondering why we're joking a little bit, it's because, historically speaking, Michael has been the one to make some technical errors in the past, but that we was also, not the case. We love Kirsten and Mike. So. Yeah, we love them. So everybody knows i got to be, like, constructive. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, a lot of us, myself included, have maybe um, critiqued Michael's uh, style of lifts because oh. he doesn't always look so secure lifting Kirsten. That wasn't the case this, this weekend. This weekend. Wow. The, the lifts, lifts. They were comfortable, solid. Michael looked Especially like Especially the free strong. skate. Yeah. I have never seen Michael do lifts that well. Yeah, in all these years together, last night was their best lifts ever. Michael's were, posture looked really good. You need to get on YouTube and watch them because they were <laughs> so fast. He was so strong. The lifts were fast, too. Her position in the air was spot on. Mm -hmm. You lift critiques. Well, critique away, but because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always do. I do. I I, I critique lifts. It was the, uh, some of my favorite pairs are very comfortable with their lifts. Yeah. But I was gonna say Michael and Kirsten were amazing. Like not only <laughs> getting her up to the air, but he was fast while lifting her and doing the spins, secure dismounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was all just really good. Because they do have their problems. Yeah, but no, their entire program was stellar. It was just. Those jumps. Minus the jumps. And then I think same can be said about Evelyn Walsh and Trent McCon. Michelle. Michelle. Excuse me, I'm not French. <laughs> Neither is he, but I have a hard time pronunciation pronunciating names. <laughs> um yeah, they just had an error on their side by side jumps on their slight error. Yeah, slight error. But mm. everything looked good. They had some they worked with Maxine Trinkoff. Oh yeah, that's right. For a couple months while he was here with Rock the Rink, mm -hmm. apparently, and it looked like it really helped. <laughs> yeah, they have really, really improved. They stepped up their game from the Grand Prix because I had low expectations, <laughs> honestly speaking. We, I've, they've always been one of my favorites, and. Mm -hmm. This season has been a little bit of a rough one for them. Yeah, they wish they could do their Grand Prix over because they made some technical errors at both of theirs. So I didn't know where their headspace would be for Nationals. They stepped up to the plate. They were fighting for their world spot and yeah. they made a case. <laughs> it's not given to them yet because they need to duke it out because with Charlie and Lubov. Charlie and Lubov had continents. a good... Grand Prix season. But uh, a horrible free skate. So we're moving on. Charlie and Lubov <laughs> did not do well in the free skate, unfortunately. They had some... Their side-by-side -side jumps were actually... her. Both her jumps were under-rotated. Mm -hmm. Okay. I looked at those protocols. 
<laughs> but um, her their throws were, she fell. One of them was really scary. Most scary of fall. their lifts, yeah, that was a really bad fall. Yeah. The, most of their lifts were good. One was a level two, which mm, most yeah, of their lifts right. are always level fours. Yeah. So they had a rough go. I mean, they had a strong ending. That their last short program lift. was mm. very good. Yeah. Their short program was solid. And I will say my critique of them in the past has been that I really don't see the connection between the two or I didn't see the connection between the two as a partnership on the ice in their programs. I think they've worked on that because they're seeming to gel a little more, not perfect, but they have improved in that aspect. The, they flow well with each other now. I could truly see them as a partnership connecting with one another, which I didn't see at Skate Canada International when I saw them live. So they're coming together really well. But woo, those mistakes in the free program, you can't expect to get a silver with that. But I understand why Skate Canada did not quickly name someone to the world team besides Kirsten and Michael, because Charlie and Lubov have had the better international results. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, conf the federation is confused. So four <laughs> continents, we'll see. You know what I say? Send the higher placing pair at four continents. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. There's going to be a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that actually made it really exciting for Perzo to see who would get second and third. Yes, it did. And last year, there wasn't a lot of Paris competition other than Kirsten, Michael, Evelyn, and Trent. Um, right. This year... There is a lot of pairs competition. I was surprisingly like list. impressed by the pairs, yeah. So then we have Justine and Mark. And Mark. They did very well. <laughs> very impressed. Yeah, and I said in my preview with Nolan <laughs> that I was like, who are they? And then one of my viewers commented, Justine is apparently a related to oh, I'm gonna get the names wrong. So she's related to a former Canadian pairs champion. So uh good I can tell that she has an influence because they had some really solid skates. Mm -hmm. Lovely presents. I do remember how good they were. And then Lorian and Theory. You really like them. They had a really, really lovely short. Um, their free skate, not as great. No. Um, I was really sad because I was really hoping for better. <laughs> but really great short. Yeah, both this pair and the one we just talked about, Justine and Mark, Great energy, mm -hmm. young, vibrant energy, just kind of like we talked about the ladies' podium. Let's give them some international mm -hmm. experience. Lots and, of Quebec teams. Right? There's a, it was like Ontario, Ontario, Quebec, 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 I was Quebec. like, is no one from Newfoundland? <laughs> and then Ontario. Really? Come on, British Columbia? We had a few British Columbian mm -hmm. skaters, so yeah, that was great um, to see. And then, ooh, I get to talk about in sixth oh, place. Yeah. <laughs> My personal favorite, Deanna Stilato and then Maxine Bishop. She's Bichon. so cute. She's so cute. So yes, they're in sixth place, and I said they were dark horse for the podium. But I did not expect some of these other Canadian pairs to be so good. They actually had the third highest tech in the free skate. She's I, great. Relatively clean, both programs, so I knew the short program would be great. I liked her when um, she skated for America. With Nathan? Yes. Yeah, and if... You're Canadian, you're watching this, you're I confused. was actually very upset when yeah. they didn't get sent to Four, four continents. continents, yeah. So I felt your pain. I made a hissy <laughs> fit about the on online. So if you're Canadian, you're watching this, you have no idea who Deanna Stilato is and why I love her. She used to be a singles competitor for the United States, gosh, in the late 1990s, like early 2000s, into junior, then rising up to seniors. Uh, retired at like 16 and then came back in her early 30s to do para skating to fulfill her dream of being uh, a figure skating champion. So I can respect that grit. She's older than me and I don't know how she does that on the ice because I get sore after one Zumba class. But uh, very solid. At the challenge, they had a horrible, horrible free skate. So I'm glad that was not a repeat here at Nationals. They did good. So don't be fooled by the sixth place finish there was just a lot of good canadian pairs surprisingly we have stepped it up from last year i know go canadians I, maybe uh, there were yeah. definitely fewer competitors last season was everybody like i don't know like i need to do more research was everybody Juniors junior last year or didn't qualify there or just taking breaks there or... wasn't deanna <laughs> yeah so speaking of deanna it was my mission to meet her i was so excited i was like she's competing at nationals 
I'm going to Canadian Nationals for Gabby Daleman, obviously. So I wanted to meet her after she skated. I walked a concourse three, three times. times while the men were skating because, you know, I just, I wanted to catch her before she left the arena. And on my third lap, I found her. I went up to her and I smiled. She smiled and she came up and hugged me. And I was like, wait, do you know who I am? She said, of course I know who you are. We chatted for a little bit. If you want to know the tea on why and how she's skating for Canada. So apparently Bruno was the one that did the matchup. So she con he contacted her and Maxime and said, I think you'd be great. So she's been training in Montreal, trying to learn French. And I hope well, that I... next season they get some international experience. It's interesting that Bruno matched them up, but they're in Montreal. Oh, sorry, they're not in Mo No. They're straight for Quebec. Yeah, never mind. Excuse that last part, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Somebody no. matched them up. Yeah, so in It might have been Bruno, but they, but he's they, they Maxine stayed. stayed with his coach. Yeah, that could have been it, and uh, yeah. So uh, Deanna is still my pair's queen. Yes, in seventh was Natasha and Bryce. I really liked her. She was that little. I do redhead. remember. Yeah, <laughs> you, you kept saying you thought she was Irish. <laughs> I know, <laughs> she was cute. Beautiful dresses, yes. especially the short, the green looked great on her. Uh, she was. It was so great to see her because she was in tears. Of joy after she was, the short because she was yes. so happy with how they did. She was also happy with how they did in the free. Yes, which was not perfect, but she was glad. They were just happy to be there. I think. Yeah, that was nice. That's what's so special about nationals is that some of these lower level skaters work so hard, and this is their big, like, competition of the season. Imagine just skating in front of all those people. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. Mm. <laughs> I would crumble under the pressure. There's two more pairs: Nadine and Francois. I don't remember much about them. I do I, remember Chloe and I Shaquille. Do. I um, know a lot of people have doubts about them for next season, mm -hmm. but I really like them. They, there's a lot, there was a lot that went wrong, but I see a lot of potential if they stay together. They can grow from their mm -hmm. skate at Nationals. And, and they skate with Bruno. Yeah. So... I personally love seeing diversity on ice, mm -hmm. so I am rooting for Chloe and Shaquille Davis. And I, Cammy and Drew with, can't Cammy and Drew with Drew, <laughs> so we are hoping for some speedy recoveries yeah. because if they she, come back next season, next season it's going to be difficult difficult for them at nationals because a lot of these pairs are improving. Yes, and. They need to step up. Yeah. So. But I do really like them. But they yeah. are going to have to kick their, get their butts into high gear. <laughs> That's right. So. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Kirsten's new dress. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful It's shape. like cranberry red. Yeah, burgundy I red. said red. Everybody you said did. no. I was right. I, 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 I was the one who said no. I said, I don't know. So. Lots of people said no. Yeah, I'm glad she kept the Midnight Blue for the short program. Mm -hmm. I didn't think she would change that one. Mm -hmm. That one's beautiful. But... She looks so good there. So yeah, so that's a wrap-up really quick favorite moment of the competition. And we were there in person, so... Favorite moment. I have two. Okay, go oh, for it. Oh, oh. Uh, well, obviously, uh, Kirsten and Mike winning. And Piper and Paul finally getting their golden moment because they deserve it because they have always been number two for they've been number two for too long. A favorite for me. This is hard because my favorite skaters <laughs> <laughs> you... did not. This was not the you know the best weekend for Justin, but I had an amazing time. I I'd say my favorite part was just. Uh, meeting meeting everybody so as, as a collective I think I got a high for meeting everybody especially that first day Caroline is so cute oh Carol Lane so funny story during Gabby's short program I was at the end of the aisle and then um Caroline was standing uh not too far from me and she said through the railing out of nowhere she went come on Justin send Gabby some good juju I was like oh you you, you know who I am how, how do you know me and then uh 
during the break at the concourse, we stopped to chat with her and she said, you're famous. And then we actually shared a, quite a lovely con conversation with her for a good 10 minutes with her and her husband. And we shared some good laughs. So that was my collective favorite part of Nationals. Yeah. Wow. So I'll be there again next year in Vancouver. Will you? Yeah. Yes, I... 80% sure. <laughs> See who's on the national right. team. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank, thank you, you, Naomi, for being on. And then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.